Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy crochet cardigan in the size small to medium. The free written pattern can be found on my blog and the link for that will be in the description box below. Let's get started. You will need some fingering weight yarn. I'm using Weaker Shea's Comfy Yarn in the color Parchment, a pair of scissors, a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and some stitch markers. Okay, so we're starting our cardigan by making our back panel. So you want to go ahead and chain 100 for the back panel. And once you've chained 100, you want to make one double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So go ahead and yarn over. Skip your first two chains, one, two, and in that third chain, go ahead and make a double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Okay, so now you want to continue to make double crochets all along the row until the very end. So I'm going to go ahead and complete my double crochets, and then I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm here at my last stitch for my row one, so I've got one more double crochet to make. All right, you should have something that looks like this now, a full row of double crochets. So now we are going to chain two. We are gonna turn our work. Okay, and so now we're gonna start row two. So for row two, we're gonna be making double crochets again, since this cardigan is made using only double crochets. So you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into this first stitch right here, and make one double crochet. Now you want to continue making double crochets till the end of the row. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue my double crochets. Okay, so I'm here towards the end of my row two and I've got one more double crochet stitch to make. So I'm going to go ahead and make my last double crochet stitch. Okay, and so your first two rows are going to look like this. So now we want to chain two. We're going to turn our work. And so now for row two, three to row 48 and this is just for the size small to medium you want to just repeat row two okay so you're going to make 48 rows of double crochet for the back panel all right so i'm going to go ahead and get to it and then i'll meet you right back here when i have finished all my rows okay so i just finished my last stitch of my back panel all right and you should have something that looks like this now so now that our back panel is completed now we have to make our left front panel and our right front panel so we are going to just crochet those panels directly onto our back panel so you want to chain two and then go ahead and turn this piece around Okay, so I just flipped my back panel and so now we're going to work on the front right side. So we went ahead and chain two. So now we're going to make one double crochet in that first stitch. All right, and then you want to continue by making an additional 47 double crochets for a total of 48. Okay, so go ahead and make your second double crochet and just continue to do that until you have 48 total. Okay, so I just finished my last double crochet of my first row on my right front panel. So now we're going to chain two and we're going to turn our work again. Okay, so now we're working on our second row of our right front panel. And so now we're going to make one double crochet in that first stitch. All right, and then you want to continue making double crochets until the end of the row for a total of 48. Okay, so I just finished my last stitch of my row two for my right front panel. And so now you want to, to continue to repeat row two until you have 48 rows total. Okay, so you're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work again and you're gonna make that one double crochet in that first stitch, and then just continue to make double crochets along the row, okay, until you have 48 double crochets, and just continue to do that until you have 48 rows total. Okay, so I'm here at my last row, my row 48, and I've just got one more double crochet to make, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and cut the yarn. So grab your scissors, and go ahead and cut it and just to um, make a knot you want to yarn over and pull through okay and then just pull tightly to create a knot 
Okay, so now our right front panel is done. So now we're gonna work on our left front panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the left front panel. Okay, so we just finished the right front piece, so now we're gonna work on our left front piece. So we're gonna have to reattach our yarn. So for this part, you wanna make sure that you have your stitch marker handy, and we're gonna skip the next two double crochets. So one, two, you wanna place your stitch marker in the third double crochet. Okay, then go ahead and take your hook, place it into that same stitch that you put your stitch marker. Then you wanna take your yarn, Okay, and you just want to create a small loop like this around your finger, then pull it off your finger and place that loop on the crochet hook. Then you want to pull through and then you want to chain two, one, two. You want to go ahead and drop that short strand. Okay, so now all you have is a strand that's attached to your skein. Then yarn over for a double crochet. Okay, insert your hook back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, pull through those last three loops because the one loop is part of that chain. Okay, all right, so now you just want to continue making double crochets till the end of the row, and you should have a total of 48 double crochets. Okay, so I just finished my last double crochet of my row one for my left front panel. And so now we're gonna be doing the exact same thing as we did for our right front panel. So you wanna make 48 rows total for the left front panel. So you're gonna chain two, you're gonna flip your work, and then just continue making those double crochets back and forth until you have 48 rows total. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it and then I will meet you right back here. Okay, so once you finish your left front panel, you should have something that looks like this down. Okay, and so now the main part of our cardigan is done. And so now we're gonna start on our sleeves. Okay, and so I went ahead and made one side. Okay, so I went ahead and made one sleeve um, just to show you what it would look like. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna make one long rectangle and we're gonna be making double crochets again. Okay, and then we will be folding the sleeve together and then um, eventually in the tutorial we're going to be seaming it okay on the side to create a sleeve all right so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make a sleeve okay so to start the sleeve you want to chain a total of 60 chains I'm just gonna be making a little small swatch of it since it's just gonna be double crochets again okay so once you've chained 60 you want to make one double crochet in the third chain from the hook okay so you would yarn over Count your chains, one, two, three, and go ahead and place your hook in that third chain. Okay, yarn over and then pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, and then yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, and that's how you make a double crochet. So you want to continue to make double crochets all along the row. Okay, and so I'm just gonna make these double crochets right here. All right, and then we are basically just going to be doing the exact same thing that we have been doing, just a, of course a smaller version since we're making a sleeve. Okay, so. Almost there. And my last one. Okay, so once you get towards the end of your row, you're gonna chain two Okay, then you're gonna turn your work and you're gonna make a double crochet in that first stitch. Okay, so yarn over and make your double crochet. All right, and you just wanna to continue to do that till the end of the row. And so for the sleeve, you want to make 36 rows of double crochet. Okay, so you're gonna repeat row two and you wanna do 36 rows total for double crochet. All right, so I'm just gonna finish my last row here just to show you. All right, I've got one more. Okay, 
So now you would just want to chain two and then continue making double crochets in that first stitch. Okay, and you just want to make 36 total. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my second sleeve and then I will meet you back here. Okay, so once you have finished your first sleeve panel, you want to go ahead and make a second one for a total of two. All right, and then afterwards, you want to make sure that you weave in any ends before we start whip stitching our rectangle together, okay, to create the sleeve. All right, so I went ahead and whip stitched my uh, sleeve or my rectangle together, and so now we're just going to be folding it, okay? You just want to fold it right over, all right, and just make sure that your sides are lined up. All right, that's very important. So I think I like that. Okay, and so now you wanna grab your darning needle and an extra piece of yarn, okay? And so for the yarn that we're gonna to use to whip stitch this sleeve together, I like to make it the length of my sleeve, okay? And I and I measure it out twice. So I, I just go like this, one and two, okay? And this way it's long enough. All right, so let me take my darning needle and insert my yarn into it again. Okay, and so to whip stitch it together, I'm just gonna fold it over like that. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see better. Okay, and so we're gonna be weaving in and out between the stitches, okay? So you're just gonna find the first stitch all right, and then push it through the other stitch on the other panel. So you have two, okay? And then just go like that. You want to have about mm, an inch out or maybe even two inches. That might be a little better. Just like that. Okay, and so you just want to go through your stitches. Okay, and make sure you go on the outer edge. Just like that. All right, and you just wanna to continue to do this until the end of the rectangle, okay? So until the end of the sleeve panel. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this part, and then I will meet you towards the end. Okay, so I just finished seaming my rectangle together to create a sleeve, all right? And you should have something that looks like this now. Okay, and so when we go to seam the sleeve into our cardigan, we will flip this inside out and then this way it'll hide the seam so you don't see it. Okay, so once you have completed this side or this sleeve, go ahead and do the same to the other rectangle, okay, to create your second sleeve. And then now we're gonna be seaming the front and back panels together. Okay, so you are gonna need your stitch marker for this part. And so we are gonna count from the bottom to the top. So I'm gonna tr do my best to get it all on camera here. Um, but you're gonna start from the bottom here, from the bottom of your cardigan, and you are gonna count up to row 30, okay? And once you have done that, you wanna place your stitch marker right there, okay? So from the bottom to your stitch marker, that's the part you wanna to seam together, okay? And you just wanna use the whip stitch method, the exact same method that we used um, to seam the sleeve, okay? So you wanna go ahead and seam this side together. You do wanna leave this part open for now because this is eventually where our sleeve will be seamed in, into the cardigan. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and seam this part and then I will meet you right back here. Okay, so once you have finished seaming your front and back panel on the right side, you wanna go ahead and do the same to the left side. Okay, and then after that, just make sure you um, weave in those ends and then it's time to add our sleeves to our cardigan now. Okay, so first things first, you want to go ahead and turn your sleeve inside out. Okay, so the part where we seamed is gonna be on the inside, which is gonna be right here, okay? And then now we're gonna insert the sleeve into the cardigan, and before we do that, I just wanna point out that you just wanna make sure that, that the seam right here, okay, it's, it's slightly less than noticeable, but this part right here, you wanna make sure that's on the bottom, okay, when you insert your sleeve into your cardigan. So I'm gonna show you how to do that part. Okay, so here's my front of my cardigan, so my right side. Okay, and we're just gonna put it in there. We're gonna make sure it's lined up, making sure that seam here is on the bottom. Okay, and so you want it to look like this. Okay, this is what you're looking for. 
All right, and so now you wanna go ahead and whip stitch the sleeve together to the cardigan, okay? So you're gonna start from the bottom right here and you're gonna work your way all the way around, okay? Making sure to only do these two sides. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to that and then I will meet you right back here when it's seamed together. Okay, so after you've seamed your sleeve onto your cardigan, it should look like this, okay? And so I went ahead and pulled mine out so now it's facing the right way. All right, and you'll see the seam right here. Okay, so once you've done this part, or once you've done this to the right side, you wanna go ahead and complete it to the left side. Okay, and then once you've done that, then you've got a completed cardigan. So now you are completely finished with your cardigan, and so all that's left to do is to make the optional tie strap. Okay, so this is totally optional. I think it looks cute, but it definitely doesn't need it. Um, so for this part, I do explain how to make the braided strap on the blog post. So if you want to make it, just make sure to click that link in the description box below and it'll explain step by step how to make this braided strap. And it's really simple. Um, all you want to do is just cut nine strands of yarn. So I use six strands of the We Crochet Comfy Fingering yarn. And then I wanted to add a bit of color to the to my strap. So I did three strands of Aunt Lydia's crochet thread in the color copper. So it kind of gives a really cool little effect. Okay. And then I just um, braided my nine strands together. So I grouped them into three and I braided it together. And then I just put two knots at the end and then I just cut it. Okay. And so, yeah, and so now you are completely finished with your cardigan. And so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Um, don't forget to click that link in the description box below because it's going to have all the details, all the materials that you're going to need. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.